When editing, you'll want to move text around the document and copy text. We'll show you two ways to move and copy. One way is by dragging selected text with the mouse. In this document, we want to move the word also to a different place in the sentence. First, we select the word. Then we drag the selection. The fuzzy outlined box on the pointer indicates that we're moving the selection. And the insertion point shows where the selection will go when we release the mouse button. We drag to the new location and release the mouse button. The selection is moved and is also spaced correctly. This method of moving text is called drag and drop. You can also copy text with drag and drop by holding down the control key when you drag it. Drag and drop is convenient for moving or copying text across short distances. For longer distances, you'll want to use three commands called cut, copy, and paste. Cutting text is similar to deleting, except it uses an area of computer memory called the clipboard. When we cut text, it's removed from the document and stored in the clipboard. The copy command also uses the clipboard. When we copy text, Word makes a copy of the selected text and puts it in the clipboard. The original text remains behind in the document. Finally, the paste command uses the clipboard to insert or paste text in the document. When we choose paste, the text in the clipboard is pasted at the insertion point. The text in the clipboard remains there until we choose cut or copy again, or until we exit. We'll use cut and paste to move the first sentence to the end of the letter. First, we use the shortcut to select a sentence. Control click. The toolbar includes buttons to cut, copy, and paste. We'll use the cut and paste buttons. We click on the cut button. The text is cut from the document and stored in the clipboard. We can move up and down a screen at a time with the page up and page down keys. We press page down. Then we click where we want to paste the text. We type two spaces and click on the paste button. The text in the clipboard is pasted at the insertion point. We're done editing this letter. To save it, we'll just click on the save button. We do, and the file is saved. As you've seen, Word offers you lots of different ways to do the same thing. A task can often be performed by a button, a menu command, or from the keyboard. This gives you the option of using the method that works best for you. Just like there are lots of different ways to do the dishes. You could do them by hand, you could put them in the dishwasher, or you could leave them for your wife. That's the method that works best for me. There are also lots of different ways to spend this Sunday during the football game. Mm -hmm. We could visit my mother, we could pick out new drapes for the guest room, or we could go shopping at the Mall of America. Hmm. I guess I'll open the common sense menu and select dishwashing. <laughs>